We all know about the Western Union sign that's always a welcome location for someone who wants to transfer money around the world. It also happens to be the favorite vehicle of these con artists who convince their victims to take money to Western Union, where it can be picked up anywhere on the globe despite what they might tell you, and they insist you keep it all a secret. In this Warren bungalow, Georgia Pearson is the keeper of a secret, the kind of secret most people just couldn't keep. Uh, he said, I won $13 million. It was a call she got about a lottery-sized windfall. Said, oh, because we've always dreamed of doing big things for our church. In Clinton Township, Audrey's desire to help her family meant that she, too, had to keep the secret. If I can get this, then I can clear up all my debt help my kids out. At age 59, both women had been lured into international sweepstakes and contest promotions that millions of Americans receive unsolicited daily, but simply toss out with a junk mail. I was having 30 or 40 coming in a month. So what hooked these two women? Well, they say it was the dream of winning enough money to help others, and a warning that they would jeopardize their winnings if they told anyone about the contests. He said, Georgia, he said, I don't want you talking to nobody. This is, this is confidential information. So Georgia, a diabetic who had dialysis three times a week, and her husband, a disabled Vietnam veteran, did what they were told. They kept quiet. And they paid and paid into sweepstakes contests month after month, year after year. I would send him money. It was more money and more money and more money. For 27 solid years, in fact, the couple, who got by on a meager income, paid about $100 a month into the sweepstakes contests. And when they were told their investment paid off with a multi-million dollar jackpot, the fees got even bigger. You've won this big money, and now we've got to go through the process. You've got to think about insurance. You've got to think about taxes. You've got to think about the Federal Trade Commission. Audrey went down the same path. And then they said, well, if you tell, that messes up your chances. Audrey says she entered hundreds of different contests, sending off entry fees between $12.95 and $29.95 since 1997. But recently, the entry fees went up big time, and so did the pressure to keep paying up. And then when I listen to them trying to kind of, it's like kind of, they're kind of browbeating you into it. Well, you don't want your money. One scammer called Audrey five times in one day. The very same day, Action News was there to talk to her about the fraudulent contests. They told her the FBI was recording the phone calls. The FBI is involved, all right, but not in the way the crooks say they are. Andy Arena heads up the Detroit FBI office, says the government wants to prosecute the heartless con men, but he admits... It's difficult. Every once in a while, uh, and it's due to hard work and diligence and luck, we'll actually be able to prosecute some of these folks. But, uh, you know, Bill, a lot of them are overseas. They're offshore. It's difficult to track them down. The FBI or not, he too has been the target of the scammers, like this check mailed to him sent from a bogus Texas company. Or the letter where the scammers used his name and the FBI logo trying to convince the target that their $14,000 con was legitimate. Consumer attorney Adam Taub says telling sweepstakes contests to keep their winning secret is a big red flag. No sweepstakes is going to be a secret. People don't have secret sweepstakes. They, they, they do sweepstakes as promotions for their business. So if anybody says your, uh, you know, our contest is, is a secret, they're lying. For Georgia, keeping a secret cost her nearly $50,000. A shocking number. That is, until we met the Finzel family. Your mother is going to Western Union and doing all this money. We had no clue whatsoever. Amy's widowed mother, Shirley Finzel, who is deceased, was well off back then, but Shirley suffered from dementia. When her six children learned about the bogus sweepstakes, they say their mother had paid out about $225,000 in just 18 months based on these receipts. They put the rest of their mom's money in an account with their names on it. Audrey wishes someone had protected her. You know, I miss paying a lot of bills. Got further behind in things I needed. Georgia's landlord grew suspicious when she was unable to pay her rent and many other bills. It was the landlord who contacted Channel 7. I was floored. She doesn't deserve this. She's a God-fearing person.
Unfortunately, that God-fearing person had spent tens of thousands of dollars and many, many trips to Western Union simply sending money to people she only talked to over the phone. And they apparently had convinced her that she had won something that she really had no chance at at all. Our concern all around Metro Detroit, in fact, for the entire nation, is that many, many secrets are being kept by people who are tied up in these bogus contests, and they haven't told a soul, so the money goes away, and they keep hope where there really is no hope at all. In Royal Oak, Bill Proctor, Channel 7 Action News. Uh, Bill, before I let you go, I want to take you back a second. Did you say she was on the hook for 27 years? 27 years. She started with just five contests, uh, sending out somewhere between $14.95 and $25, bucks, and so about $100 a month all that period of time, and then since June, another $15,800 in fees. Unfortunately, she is the lady that we heard about, and unfortunately, last Thursday in heart surgery, she passed away, and so now we're telling this story because she wanted everyone to know about what amounts to foolishness when you don't know what kind of contest you're in. Yeah,